Good news. We have some breaking news for you to share with you. Freedom of speech is a thing of the past. And when our freedom of expression, freedom to exercise our religious God-giving rights, freedom to think for yourself is being taken away, censored, then you know without a shadow of a doubt that persecution is just around the corner. As Rebel News broke this news earlier today, or I should say on January 15th rather, this was uh, uh, published by Breaking News, which the headline says, World Economic Forum Expels Christians from Demonic Davos uh, promenade. Then it says, is there anything you cannot say at the World Economic Forum meeting here in Davos, Switzerland? You can promote communism. The WEF says you'll owe nothing and you'll be happy. You can promote fascism. That's a working definition of uh, Klaus Schwab's belief in the merger of big business and big government. You can promote drug use, which your all Noah Harari says, uh, video games and drugs are the future of mankind. You can uh, even promote Islamic terrorism, but there is something uh, that you cannot promote at Davos, the 2024 Davos. And what is that one thing that you cannot promote there it says here but the one thing you can't talk about here in davos is jesus christ i know that because i saw police swarm a small group of people who had come to hand out free literature and uh, christianity now a small group of people as rebel news mentioned who came out at the uh, Davos, 2024 Davos World Economic Forum meeting there, who came out to pass out literature, publications about Christianity, that should ring a bell. There is one group that is very known for going to places, events like that, to pass out books but as rebel news once again report that you can talk about fascism you can talk about anything else there communism how good those things are but you cannot talk about jesus christ what's wrong with talking about jesus christ that they do not like listen carefully <laughs> what's just happened they only said we are here and we will share the truth, but they said it's not possible to share. It's not legal. Yeah. And you're a Christian? Yeah, I'm a Christian, yeah. In other words, if you are a Christian and you believe that we are living in the last days, and especially if you are a Seven Adventist Christian, you are not welcome at Davos 2024 meetings there, the gathering of uh, World Economic Forum. Remember, those are a bunch of uh, unelected uh, globalists, unelected uh, elites that are meeting every first of the month of each year. And from there, they make their decisions on how they're going to run the world throughout the year. The same way they made up many decisions on how they are going to dictate. We are seeing fascism, communism alive and well once again. Those are the same people that have brought us the Babylonian crisis. And they are the same people that are now making decisions for you and I. These are the Jesuits. These are the Freemasons that we as the bible mentioned to have no fellowship with them with the unfruitful works of darkness but rather we prove them or expose them now 
the next clip they're going to talk about three individuals from the group that they mentioned before that were being harassed by the police there at cop 20 or let me back up at the davos 2024 forum meetings there because they were passing out literature listen carefully have you many for rebel news in davos switzerland here for the wef as we're walking past the ukraine house back again for the third year in a row we noticed uh, what looked like counter-terrorism police pouncing on a group of three now the question that we would like to ask is who are those uh, three individuals that they mention uh, who were being surrounded, uh, as you could see on the screen, uh, by the Davos, by the WEF enforcers? And what was the reason why they were being uh, harassed? Because they were there to pass out Christian literatures, as Rebel News mentioned. Who were they again, those three individuals? And the other question is, what kind of literature were they passing out? Well, the answer will be found in the next clip. Watch carefully. Hey guys, can I ask what happened? I don't know how to do this. Oh, what is it? We have religious books and about Christian. Oh, you guys are Christians. And you got stopped. Was it because it was outside the Ukraine house? Or? We're not allowed to. We, we're in sale, nothing, you know. It's just for free. But he said it's not allowed to in uh, Switzerland, here in this town. So we, we got it. We have to go. Permission for the town here. You need permission to give. To give literature, Christian, Christian literature here. That's all. And it's about freedom of, freedom of conscience, actually, is what we're sharing about. Yeah. And, but we're not allowed. Did you see the first literature there that shows it was in German but the book or the literature the title for it uh, it means as you saw from the description let me bring this back to the screen again notice here it means ready for the future ready for the future but there was another book next to that also that they were passing out if you look at on the next slide far right you can see far right on your screen you can see this book there and that is the great controversy book that they were passing out and in another screenshot you could see one of the three there a lady in the center holding the great controversy book i applaud those seven -day adventist brethren and sister there for going there in the midst of the lions at Davos to bring this news. That, what is that news? That the prophecies are being fulfilled and this book, along with the Bible, Great Controversy book, and along with the Bible, are telling us that it is being fulfilled, the prophecies, that is, are being fulfilled very, very rapidly. As rebel news and that was another witness there for rebel news to get an encounter with that book and with those adventist brethren there who were witnessing there and in the next clip they're going to say people need to know about what's coming about what's going on and that is the reason why we were there listen now you guys travel here as christians to the wef yeah. to try to share with people to share to get to have opportunity because it's also we believe prophecy, it speaks about what's going to be happening soon and that liberty of conscience is threatened. And so we want to share with people that people can believe what they want to believe, but they should have the ability to believe what they want to believe and to choose to believe something else and to information is being more and more restricted. It's not new, no, it's, it's always go further and further. This is the past, this is right now, this is the future, you know, this is right here. So this is for free. This is important material. This is not uh, anything which comes on the commercial every day, you know. This is behind the curtain. What, what made you travel and where did you come from? from germany so i'm american but i live in italy you know. so what made you come here to davos to do this why because there are people here that need to hear this that it's a, a meeting of people all over the world important people who are making decisions and even people who are just here to visit but 
that we wanted to share, have the opportunity to share with them that liberty of conscience is threatened and they need to know what's coming. Once again, brothers and sisters, I applaud our brethren and sister for going over there where those elites are meeting and we must take advantage of the situation. It doesn't matter if we get arrested. They need to hear, they need to know about this, is threatened this book. And they need to know what's coming. They need uh, to know about this book, great controversy book, that our brethren and sister there were taking the time in the midst of the lions to pass out. And uh, remember, Rebel News has been uh, in the front line as well, reporting those demonic activities. And uh, this was a very good witness for Rebel News. And if you listen carefully to the next clip, you're going to hear the opinion of uh, Rebel News and uh, also what the Adventist Brethren is going to say about the activities that you would find at Davos. Listen carefully. Do you, re do you believe that there may be a little bit of a evil or satanic uh, thing in, in Davos? I think a lot of people around the world look at Davos as a very dark place. I think wherever liberty of conscience is threatened, there is a demonic hint or something behind the curtain that we're not seeing. Whether the people know or not, I don't know, but I believe that this pushing together of world religions, of world governments, of world economic situation, I believe that's not going in a good direction. I believe that that is demonic. Yeah. Um, okay, so are you guys just going to pack up and leave, or are you... We're going to see maybe with the, the local police, if we can get uh, permission to share here. We'll see, because by the, by the post office, they said, we can try. And can you describe us, what, were you here, yeah. just, you were just stationed there, yeah. doing it, and they came and they surrounded you? Yeah. That looked like counter-terrorism kind of squad. There's a lot of police for just us. It's <laughs> coming up like this. And you also believe that this is something like this? That there's something evil behind or I, not? I think if you can bring Klaus Schwab to God, then you, you, good on you. But uh, I don't know if he's really human. <laughs> God bless you guys. May God have mercy on those individuals. Time is running out. And indeed, that is the book that the world needs right now to help them to understand the history of the past and what's happening currently in the present and what is about to come in the future as Peter Prophecy says this year from letter 281 1905 the great controversy should be very widely circulated it the great controversy contains the story of the past the present and the future in its outline of the closing scenes of this earth's history the great controversy bears a powerful testimony in behalf of the truth. In behalf of what truth? What is the truth? That is the word of God. The great controversy book leads people to study the book that God has given to the world as a gift that shows us the instruction on how to get back to heaven. Bible, B. I B L E basic instruction before living earth let's continue it goes on to say one more time it bears a powerful testimony in behalf of the truth I am more anxious to see a wide circulation for this book than for any others I have written for here's the reason why in the great controversy the last message of warning to the world is given more distinctly than any of my other books. So here's the reason why this is so important. It leads, the book, Great Controversy, leads us to the truth. It is a testimony, a witness on behalf of the Bible. And she says that this book must be circulated as well like the leaves of autumn because it is the most important books out of or book out of all the other books that she has uh, written because it explains what happened in the past what's happening currently and uh, what is coming uh, tomorrow so in other words brothers and sisters just like we were counseled 
to circulate, to publish, to pass out that book, like the leaf of autumn, we have a duty right now. While our leaders have been taking uh, this book hijacked uh, and uh, giving us uh, a, an abridged version of it, uh, God wants us to publish the entire book at such a time as this, to enlighten the eyes of many, to open the eyes of many, just like uh, we are told uh, in Revelation 18, uh, verse 2, the Bible says, uh, that we must come down with great power and give the final message, which is Babylon the great is fallen and is fallen because she has made all the nations drunk of the wine of her fornication. Who is Babylon? That is popery. And those that are meeting in Davos right now, they have surrendered, Revelation 17, 13 tells us, they have surrendered their power and strength, their country, their government unto the beasts. And so therefore, the only thing that the world needs right now to be awakened from this deception is the word of God. Men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. God bless you.